Since Paige Turner's arrest last February, it has been a relatively quiet year at Seymour Books Memorial Library. Like most libraries around the country, Seymour Books was forced to close their doors early in the spring of 2020 due to the global health crisis. Following Paige Turner's confession and conviction, Reed Moore made the difficult decision to move across the state in order to visit Paige more often at Silas Correctional Facility. He was interviewed for the position of prison librarian, but was passed over when it was noted that his first reference was a current inmate. Anita Dell worked hard during the building's closure to ensure library patrons could access their ebooks and audiobooks through the library's website. Her dedication and passion for the library were noted and acknowledged when she was offered a position working for the state library system. She was last seen standing outside a Greyhound bus station waiting for her ride to the state capitol. Dr. Faye King spent the pandemic writing, editing, and publishing not one, not two, but three different self-help books. When asked in interviews why she chose to make the jump from fiction to self-help, Faye responds with, If I can't help myself, who can? Her books became overnight sensations and have remained on bestseller lists through the heights of quarantine. Robin Steele continues to be a loyal patron of Seymour Books. During the lockdown, Robin delivered food for her uncle's soda fountain and continued to participate in virtual programming from the library. When the previous book club president retired, Robin was unanimously voted in by her peers and held an inauguration via Zoom. Robin now helps run the various book clubs at the library. Winifred Windexter found herself without a building to clean and an obscene amount of time on her hands. After thoroughly scouring and organizing her own home, Winnie took some time to tap into her entrepreneurial spirit. Her YouTube channel called Work It With Winnie combines exercise, humor, and organization trips to help lighten your weight, mood, and load around the home. She has been featured on several local talk shows and has begun writing a memoir featuring her time behind bars. With the vacancy left by Paige Turner's arrest and the preceding murder, a new director was hired. Although she grew up in the area, Wanda Full has spent the last 15 years helping to build libraries in rural parts of the world as part of the Library Corps. In addition to the obtaining books and training the new librarians, Wanda spent her time teaching online classes for library students back in the States. Wanda had returned home for a short visit after her sister's arrest and has stayed since the global health crisis has halted library court op operations. Although Wanda Full is Paige's identical sister, she hopes that her sister's mistakes and poor choices will not solely her time at Seymour Books. Another new addition to the Seymour Books Memorial Library is Ina Peekle, the new librarian hired to replace Paige Turner. With a passion for flora, Ina is adjusting to the cast of fauna at the library and is working hard to brighten up some of the backward policies that remain from the former director, Gladys Gone. She was hired and accepted the position while the library building was closed, and has worked from home building a robust calendar of virtual programming for the library. When the staff were finally able to return to the library, Winifred, Windexter, Wanda Full, Ina Pickle, and the rest of the employees worked hard to implement curbside pickup of materials and continue to offer virtual programs for patrons. Robin Steele hosted a very popular online book club for three months in a row using Dr. Faye King's recent releases and invited the author to attend. Now that the building has opened to the public, we can assume that business shall resume as normal.